Never do these things on an airplane. To make your journey less stressful, comply with flight etiquette and never do these 12 things on an airplane. Staying comfortable and healthy while airborne should be your number one goal. So know today where the germs are hiding. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. I hope you're doing fantastic. We're going to travel today. We're going to travel high, high, high. I hope you're doing wonderful. I'm doing great. And if you're doing as great as I am, go grab a cup of coffee or tea or vodka. Let's roll. I want to quickly give a shout out to our listeners and viewers in the United States, particularly Anderson Lowe in Crystal Bay, Nevada, Jordan Sandoval in Las Vegas, North Carolina, and Eliana Herring in Henderson, Nevada. Now, number one, don't booze too much. It's very important, all right? I mean, you can have a nice, a nice glass of uh, beer or uh, or wine, right? This this could be cool, especially if you are traveling a long distance. But alcohol is extremely dehydrated, and we all know it's very important. And I'll talk about that a little one. That if you combine the dehydration with the low humidity of the plane, your body isn't. It, it, your body will just uh, seek water because you could be in it for a drying experience so it's very important not to booze too much while on the plane and uh, another thing that you also want to do is that you want to also stay away from those high percentage alcohol so if you had to drink it all go for a uh, three or four percent beer stay away from the 13 percent 20 percent uh, uh wine you know part wine or the 45 percent liquors right you really want to stay away from those while airborne number two you want to opt out of a coffee or tea right you don't want to drink you know the same advice applies the same advice i gave you about alcohol applies to coffee or tea right it's very important you don't want to drink anything that could possibly be made with the tap water from the plane the problem here is that you know, um, in the last 20 years, the airline industry has done a lot to sanitize the water, the tap water that we we have. However, it's still, it's a long way from being, uh, you know, 100% healthy, right? So if you can do anything to avoid drinking from the tap from the plane, then do it, right? Now, some planes, some airlines, especially the in more sophisticated classes, I'm talking first class or premium classes they will boil they will boil the water for coffee or tea but still you know there is a, a little um, a little chance that you might be you know getting something from uh, that water in addition you, you want you want to avoid caffeine because caffeine really slightly will dehydrate you according to research right so you can drink a little bit of tea but you know drink water your own water that's fine also right number three don't stay thirsty for too long so the thing here is i'm telling you not to drink alcohol i'm telling you not to drink coffee but you gotta drink because the last thing you want is to be thirsty dehydrated for too long right i mean you don't want to have a parched throat mid-flight nobody likes that anyway so the thing is try to stay away from those uh, salty snacks and try to and try to have as much water as possible on you especially if you're traveling with the kids it's very important because you know um, the airplane cabins are known for their low humidity because the manufactured air in the cabin is made to mimic the highest altitude humans can breathe at usually between 6,000 to 8,000 feet according to the World Health Organization right so at that at those levels it's very important to hydrate hydrate and hydrate all right but please never hydrate never drink in an airplane bathroom i think that goes without saying right number four don't walk around barefoot you know again airlines do a lot do a great job at, at trying to clean the the cabin between flights but you never know you never know right and you know between all the stories we hear we hear in the news you know flight attendants have been have seen uh, everything from vomit to blood to spilled food hit that carpet and if the carpet is not clean you don't want to eat off of that 
or you don't even want to walk off of that, right? So never walk barefoot, always wear something. But whether you go into the bathroom or just standing up to stretch or uh, checking your luggage or taking something from your luggage, always wear something. It could be a sock it, or it could be uh, just sandals or regular, regular shoes. I'll be right back right after this. Do not go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Q. We're still continuing our conversation around the things you should avoid doing on an airplane. And before I get into the nitty gritty here and go to number five, please consider subscribing to our channel. If you like this show, if you like the content and the clarity of the, of the content, we really appreciate it. Remember to turn on the notification bell so you know the next time we uh, release a new show. Share this content, comment below, like us. We really appreciate it. I want to give a shout out to a great and loyal fans and listeners of ours. Spencer Dawson in Monero, New Mexico. Reggie Sutton in Santa Fe, New Mexico. And Scarlett Murphy in Los Alamos. That's, of course, in New Mexico. Number five, don't wear shorts, right? I mean, basically, the thing here is that we're trying, again, to... Um, avoid those germs right if you can try to wear clothing that covers skin that could touch your seat this is very important the seats aren't as clean as we you know they aren't as clean between flights as as we uh, we think they are and those could be uh, you know villas this could be castles for germs right so basically you always want to make sure that you're covered and especially do not wear shorts Number six, stay awake before takeoff, right? Even if you're tired, please do not sleep. Do not fall asleep before the takeoff. The reason why, if you fall asleep before takeoff, you'll have a hard time equalizing the pressure in your ears, which you'll do more quickly if you chew gum or yawn, right? But it's just better to, to stay awake. And uh, once the, uh, the, uh, the airplane is at, as a, at a reasonable altitude, then you can just doze off. All right. Now, if you have, uh, if you're prone to flight-induced headaches, you want to hold off on your snooze until your ears pop. All right. Number eight, number seven, actually, don't sit in your seat the entire flight. This is very important. I was talking earlier about getting up from from time to time and stretching, especially if you are on those uh, long-haul flights from New York to Sydney or New York to Tokyo, where you have. Um, 12, 14, 18, 24 hours, you want to really uh, get up from time to time. The reason being, you are at a higher risk to develop something called DVT. That's deep vein thrombosis. And it's usually a, a type of blood clot that you that generally forms in your legs. All right. Now, people have, <laughs> it's kind of funny, but people have uh, coined this DVT economy class syndrome because, you know, you, you can, you can, you can, you um, can, Imagine why. The thing here is that walk around for a few minutes or stand up to stretch, right? So you can avoid DVT. Now, if you have to walk around, as I said earlier, remember to put your shoes on, all right? Another thing you can do also is that try to wear light clothing. Stay away from tight clothing because those pieces of clothing could cut off circulation while in flight, right? So it's very important that you feel comfortable. You wear ample clothing so you can walk around. You can do some exercise in your seat. You can you, you can lift alternate knees up to your chest and twist in your chair in your chair from side to side. You just need to keep moving. You gotta keep moving. Number eight: Never pick up and eat food after it's fallen on the tray table. What I said earlier about the the carpet applies also to the tray table. Those tray tables are not always clean or sterilized between flights. I'm not talking about, you have to understand that a plane is constantly flying and landing, right? Unless the plane is, has some uh, serious defective uh, issues, they're not going to the garage, they're not going to uh, a plane garage, they are constantly flying and landing. So the uh, some things like tray tables are not always sterilized between flights. All right. So, you know, don't if, you know, the the tray table can see a lot of stuff, a lot of germs. And if you if something falls on that tray table, don't pick it up. Just give it just give it to uh, to the stewards, flight attendants. All right. 
I'll be right back right after this. Do not go anywhere. Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. I hope you are doing fantastic. Everything is fine on my end, and I hope you're doing great as well. And I want to quickly give a shout out to Alfie Thompson in Bolivar, New York, Jess Lloyd in Endwell, New York, and Elizabeth Price from the beautiful city of Kingmore, New York. I love Kingmore. Now, let's talk about the four more things you should never do on an airplane. Don't use the blankets and pillows. Folks, this is a serious one. Now, the the you know you have those blankets and pillows that are offered in this in the seat back they're not clean they are recycled flights to flight all right and the thing is that they don't usually get properly washed until the day's over right so you know everybody knows your doctor will tell you that items such as pillows blankets are ideal places for germs and lice to camp out and spread from person to person you know, the last thing you want is to catch lice while on a plane or germs, right? So you don't want that. So don't use the blankets and pillows. Don't gulp up any soda. Soda is soda is very bad, especially um, in a high altitude, because uh, if you have a, a gain in altitude, a, an increase in altitude could cause intestinal gas to expand up to 30 percent. All right. So you definitely want to avoid consuming anything carbonated drinks in the clouds all right go with bottled water bottled water is just it's just bad just the best right that will keep you hydrated and that's all you need now if you're not feeling well that's number 11 if you're not feeling well please don't feel embarrassed to tell a flight attendant we're talking about your health here right so there's nothing to be ashamed of nothing to be embarrassed about talk to him or her right now the the thing is that you have to understand those flight attendants they receive hours upon hours of training to cope with medical emergencies to you know and i'm talking about all the going all the way from uh, just a regular migraine all the way to uh handling a childbirth all right so they are very trained and they will take care of you okay another um and that's the last one here the, the last thing you should never do on a plane is to sleep, to, uh, to fall asleep against the window, right? So folks, our goal here is to look out for all the areas where germs and lice could be camping and avoid them. Now, you know that people, passengers may, may breathe up on the window, may sneeze, may cough against it, that glass, you know, so if you doze off on the same glass somebody has coughed on or sneezed on or breathed, breathed on, that's just a breeding ground for bacteria. Especially if the person is uh, the person uh, the, the 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 passenger who was there before you was sick, right? So this is very important. So you want to make sure you avoid that. Now the thing here is that a lot of folks to avoid this, they will carry. Uh, you know some products you know lysol wipes with them and they will wipe the area around the seat right before before sitting whatever works for you do it but just make sure that you're comfortable and that you don't really expose yourself to new germs or bacteria or diseases just because you because you just took a flight from one place to the other okay i'll be right back right after this do not go anywhere Welcome back, folks, to another edition of Sweetie Kiwi. We are about to wrap up today's conversation. And um, if you just wanted to know the context of today's conversation, it was very simple. To make your journey less stressful, comply with flight etiquette and never do the 12 things I've given you on an airplane. I've told you in this show. Staying comfortable and healthy while airborne should be your number one goal. So I hope today you will remember where the germs are hiding. And here they are, the 12 things you should never do. Don't boost too much. Opt out of coffee or tea. Don't stay thirsty for too long. Don't walk around barefoot. Don't wear shorts. Stay awake before takeoff. Don't sit in your seat the entire flight. Never pick up and eat food after it's fallen on the tray table. Don't use the blankets and pillows. Don't gulp any soda. Don't feel embarrassed to tell a flight attendant that you're not feeling well, that you're sick. 
And uh, number 12, never fall asleep against the window. This is very important. Now, here is a little bit, a, a little bit of uh, extra advice here, and this is the, today's call to action. Now, there are things you should never do in an airplane bathroom. I mean, we talked about the, the whole airplane throughout the show here, but the bathroom is just a concentration of concentration of germs that you can never imagine, right? So, you know, those germs are potentially harmful in a normal bathroom. Now, think about a bathroom in the sky where hundreds of people are using over 24 hours. So, you know, after you uh, you're done doing your business in the bathroom, keep it clean. I'm talking here about the airplane bathroom. Keep it clean. Wait patiently your turn. Right? Avoid all the all the barefoot you know, walking that I was telling you, never even go in, in the bathroom bare, barefoot. That would be just so crazy, right? After you're done with your business, wash your hands thoroughly. Now, this is a no-brainer. This is for this applies for all kinds of uh, activities we do in the sky, but also uh, on Earth. I mean, in the you know, while uh, while doing our everyday uh, activities. And another thing you want to do is that you want to, if you feel comfortable doing so bring your own hand washing right just just bring your own uh, hand washing sanitizer right so that you can avoid all the germs on head you know you don't have to rely on the hand washing only you can add an extra layer of uh, safety if you will all right thank you so much for listening to me uh, this time and i uh, really appreciate your attention i will see you next time and until then stay marvelous